Perhaps if those bleeding dwarves did meet so much. Here's the goods. Like you wanted. Everything there? Good. Worse than war rations, these. Worse than war rations, these. I got that special shipment you was asking after. Everything there? Good. Don't tell anyone where you got this, eh? Got it. Leave me. <coughs> Go. Get away. Get <coughs> back. At least wait till I've croaked my last if you want to study me. Unless you maniac. The woman looks up as you approach, wiping her brow with a grease blackened hand. What do you need? The hammer got you curious. 
Yeah, funny name for a gal like that. When I knew her, the Feather would have been a likelier name. She nods once. Clever lass, her. No wonder what Alexander sees in her. Question is, what she sees in him. Oh, I don't know. She was a sweet soul, quiet, loved her family. Always seemed strong, as I recall, but she didn't come across as no fearless military leader back then. She was just a girl. People do change, don't they? By all means, get an eyeful. fit for beasts.
fool. It's gonna be killing that. time. You come to fight. You come to prove yourself. You come to be worthy. There can be only one, and you have but one chance. She scoffs. To prove you are the one. Never mind. The one does not ask such a question. The dwarf cocks his head left, then right. His eyes squint and his brows rise, as if lifted by an unseen fish hook. Marcus? Marcus Miles? Beast glances at you and mutters. Best let me handle this. That's Beast nowadays, friend. That other name, long left that behind, I did. Right, right, sorry. Just hard not to see you as that wild-eyed troublemaker you used to be. It's been, what, over a decade, yeah? Longer than that. Too bad I'm cooped up here. Things are looking grim out there. Justinia's planning something big. Really big. Oh, bigger than what she's already managed. Say a single word against her, and a royal copper will throw you in a dank cell or carve the royal insignia on your throat. Unless you've got a handful of coin to donate to the kingdom, of course. <laughs> You're gonna need to blow this popweed stand if you want to stop her, but maybe this'll help, eh? Nab the key off that Krauss fella up above. <laughs> Not the brightest of the magisters. <laughs> Would stick his head in a pig's ass and call it a hat. <laughs> Reckon it unlocks one of the doors to the prison. No, not sure which. I'll tell you to take care crossing the Divine Order, but from what I hear, you can handle yourself just fine against Alexander's flunkies. Word gets around, does it? Well, I appreciate the help. I won't forget it. I ache for battle. We seek nice. one. Nice. Just nice. Hoping the next batch is better than nice. Man looks you up and down and smiles. Will you fight? Perhaps not. 
But at times, it is best to conquer that which repulses us. She sizes you up as you approach. Her eyes narrow. I've waited this long. I can wait longer. Seek the one. Mm. You've yet to experience the joy and pain of true combat, I see. Is that so? You droop like a dying willow and simper like a newborn vole. The spirit of the One requires an undaunted host. Yet I see potential in you. You have a reason to fight. You could go far. The spirit of the One is everywhere. It exists beyond us, yet will someday live in one of us. This is how we worship. This is not just an arena. But a temple, too. A brutal warrior will ascend. We'll celebrate this hero as the one. I believe you could, but it's not certain. That's a tale only you can tell. Some truths are simply known. I fight not to be named the one, but to reveal the one. It is the wise choice. Now you may enter the arena with the blessings of the One. We seek Warfare the one. is worship. The old dog looks up at you, but doesn't lift his graying head from his paws. He heaves a heavy sigh. The tip of his tail starts to wag. It's... it's no use anyway. You're... you're nice. Emmy would have... Emmy would have loved you. She was my mate for the last seven, carry the two, plus fifty, five years. The Magisters, they took her. I love you. Say, let me show you something.
food. single name throbs across your brain. Verdas, Verdas, Verdas. He must escape. He cannot die here. He cannot. As the dead man's flesh slides down your throat, you feel his consciousness enter yours. His memories are yours to experience. You are Finn. Your heart is heavy. You know too much. It's all too much. You met, you met him. A bright light blinds you, then fades. You feel a tremendous power in your hands, but they are shaking so hard you can barely use them. Suddenly you're on this very ship, crouched in a corner, hugging your knees. A figure approaches, an older woman. Her eyes are kind. She comes closer. She says she wants to talk. She reaches a hand toward you. You grasp it. The memories end. You are no longer Finn. You return to yourself with a jolt. You hated your work for the Order. You wanted to be a stonemason, marry the baker. You still dream about it every night. Finally kicked the bucket this in. Didn't think I'd miss his grumbling and boasting, but spirit like that leaves a big hole when it's snuffed out. Rest his soul.
Finally kicked the book at this and didn't think I'd miss his grumbling and boasting, but spirit like that leaves a big hole when it's snuffed out. Ooh. The dog focuses at the cat at your feet, bearing its... outside. Me there are so many children in this Fort Joy. Magisters I handle, but small ones. An elf lives forever. If she stays away from spears and fire, she has no need for slimy, sticky, small ones. As you approach the young elf, Losa suddenly grabs your arm. Her hand is damp. Her face looks pale and grey. Hey, listen, I, I don't know why, but, but I think I need to talk to this elf. You mind? She darts over to the elf without responding. They begin talking in earnest, more quietly than you can overhear. Losa suddenly snatches up both the elf's hands and leans close to her. Her voice rises. You have to tell me. The whites of Losa's eyes fade to grey, then black. The colour runs into her veins, crisscrossing her skin like lightning. She keeps hold of Sahela's hands. It rises in you even now, Losa. Do not let it. You must be strong. Be strong. Fight. Fight. You are okay. You are yours, no one else's. Shut up. Let go. Let go, let go! I don't want to hurt her. Don't make me. Losa is rigid as a board, tense with the effort of holding Sahela's hands in tight, painful bunches. Leave me alone. Leave me. I don't want to. You are hurting me. Losa's eyes are black. Sahila's fingers are white under her grasp. Let me go! Please! A sinister smile spreads across Losi's lips. She jerks the elf toward her. Chatty, chatty elf. Chatty elf with all the answers. I wonder what your blood tastes like. Losa, please! You, you must not defend her. She wakes if she is weakened. We must hurt her to protect her, you see? I bet the elf blood tastes like honey, like nectar, like joy itself. Let 
Let's find out. She's not herself. You must weaken her to help her. Prepare yourself. It is almost enough. A few more hits. She comes back to us when she is weaker. Yeah, thanks. I know they help.
I know they help. What? Don't look at me like that. Good. I don't. Let's keep moving. I want to get out of this bloody place as soon as possible. I'm fine. You're fine. We're fine. I just want to get out of here. Let's go. Not drawing many winning cards of late, but I won't be crying over it. Sailed away from my last island prison scot-free. No reason I can't do it again. Well, it's complicated. Where to even begin? As far as I can tell, he's doing the Queen's dirty work. Based on that letter, their plan was this. Lohar and his people sink a Magister ship, the Peacemaker. They transfer its cargo to the Victory, and then the Victory sails off to Duna knows where. No telling what the cargo is, but it means trouble. He winks. And not the good kind. They're gorillas. Beast chuckles as your forehead crinkles in confusion. <laughs> you know, as in guerrilla warfare? Oh boy, I thought you had a funny bone in you, but I swear some witch doctor's gone and yanked it out. Good women, good men. Still fighting the good fight, too. Though most of them fled to the hinterlands. The wave dancer's crew's probably gone to join him. No offense to you, but I miss them. Still, it's probably best I don't subject them to all... all this. Aye, this is a good one. Now, close your eyes and let it wash over you. The beast of the sea is skippering his beloved ship, the Wave Dancer, heading to Reaper's Coast. His target's there, you see. A notorious criminal kingpin called Lohar. The sails are full and the crew's in right spirits, barking shanties like a chorus of seals. Tell my mates I sailed the straits and soon will dock in the Echo's Hall. Ain't to last, though. Magister ships surround the Wave Dancer like sharks suckling their prey. The brave rebels are on the ropes until the legendary beast boards the Magister flagship and summons a cyclone the likes of which no man or woman has seen. Rain and wind, void woken everywhere, and our hero beast, the Valiant selfless beast surrenders himself to the magisters so the wave dancer may escape amid the rising chaos what bravery what sacrifice ah what bollocks i ain't no hero besides you know how the rest goes hell you're helping to write it the magisters haul me off and soon enough i'm heading to fort joy collared like the beast i am Ah, you're making me blush. Truth is, a captain's only as good as his crew, but we all share a common goal. Freedom. The dwarven people, we've been through a lot. We deserve it. So, how'd they get you? A succubus? Well, seems like you got what was coming to you, but I won't harp on you about it too much. Getting stuck with me is punishment enough. <laughs> As for me... He runs a hand slowly down the plaits of his beard, smiling sumptuously. I don't plan to spend a moment longer here than is strictly necessary. Power, plain and simple. It's like this. Some people, when they get a taste of something delicious, they want more and more of it. it like, like fried sea bass. Once you start, you can't stop slurping. Justinia got a taste of that power the first time she threw a mouthy jester into the dungeon at the urging of her advisor, just because he pointed out her, uh, rotundness. That's a word, right? That's where it started. And it still ain't finished. Of course I did. But I didn't have the sway that advisor of hers had. Might as well have spilled my guts to a stone wall. Amazing how quick things changed. When I was a lad, Laura would invite lizard dignitaries, elven seers, folk like that. Big fish from other ponds. Now, a lizard don't dare step foot in the kingdom, lest some sword-loving royalist scrape off his scales. Can't stand those types. But I don't blame them. Some folk, they've got the short end of the stick. They've got lots of anger in their hearts. 
And when your queen tells you who you're supposed to hate, well, that's who you hate. I feel him, but I do not see him. Shite like that, that's why I did the noble thing. I fought it. You shouldn't have to fear your own queen, and you shouldn't have to fear some bogeyman just because that queen's needing a scapegoat. And here I thought I was a talker. I'm no people person, but I've had a run-in or two with magisters before, and let me tell you, most of them couldn't pour water out of a boot. One way or another, we'll slip past them. Just keep your head to the ground. You'll get more than an earful of dirt, I promise. A moment's pause. I had thought us too wicked for rest. We may see no bars, but we are firmly behind them here and now. As I hunt for answers, escape must ever be on our minds. Ha! <laughs> Nonsense. We've already cheated death coming here. We have but to cheat the living to leave. Ha! <laughs> Shouldn't be too hard, trust me. May require some needlework. But let's save those for later, shall we? Not quite the thing I tend to share with strangers. Suffice to say, I need to speak with a certain lizard, so let's find him. In a final heartbeat. Why did you assume I wouldn't? Ha! <laughs> As it happens, that invitation is why I let you live. Your flesh is weak. All flesh is weak. But your spirit remained strong as your flesh was being pierced. That... I admire. Huh. Hardly. I walked up to the quay, asked for the ship to Fort Joy, and declared myself a sorcerer. I'm here to hunt, remember? Here to play a game of Tic Tac Terminate with a special certain someone. I know they help. Look around you, your stable population at its finest. The young girl's eyes are covered, but she turns toward you when you approach. She smiles as though she recognizes you, though she couldn't have seen your face. Hello, dear prince. Hello, betrayed soul. How sad to stand accused. To be innocent, but not believed. I see it before my eyes. <laughs> it is not so bad. I know which days have bread and which days have none. I know more bread comes someday. It helps. Your life is not your own. Your life is for us all. I cannot say more. You see someday. Ah, you help him. Your open heart surprises even me. You bless me. You bless us all. The kid screams like a banshee and runs away as fast as he can. Are you from the ancient empire? Maybe you know my mum. Helen. She served the bailiff of the House of Law. She died when the void woke and came. Suddenly, the child's face crinkles into a grimace. She seems on the verge of sobbing when her face suddenly goes still and blank. She smiles at you and continues her game. I feel him, but I do 
but I do not see him. Thank you for your help with that, thug. No doubt he turns on you next. These humans hate us. She bows. It gives me great pain. I'm with my family. We are making beautiful magic. We are healing a tree cut down with great violence. The Magisters come. My family runs, but I fall. My son looks back. I shout to him to run. I am taken. In this cave, we trust Sahela. She is young, but she sees. She knows more than we know. In the camp, the brute Griff rules. He who gives the bread has the power. I hear of no escapes. The only way out is through. Through the Magisters, through their cure. Thugs, I can stand, but oh, I fear the Magisters. Wait, before you go, I am not here without your help. I do not forget this. For you, a prize. I save it for a special occasion, but I can think of no finer occasion than this. Thank you. My friend, what do you need? You're cheating! You cover your face with your hands. You've just heard the news. The elven homelands have been destroyed by death fog. It was your order who did it. How can this be? I feel him, but I can't find you. 
I've spotted something. Even the most noble among us must occasionally dirty their claws. Can it be a, a, a lizard? I, I never thought I'd see the day. Do you understand me, sir? Oh, no, I, I dare say I ought to enunciate. Can you help me? Seven hundred years. Can it have been so long already? Gods, how the time flies. I haven't seen a living soul in all that time. What a strange notion. A wicked king, it was. Bracchus Rex by name. The Order of the Source Hunters discovered a great horror upon this prison isle, and I was sent to stop it. Yet my failure was absolute. I am not fit to bear the insignia of the Source Hunters any longer. Please, good sir, you must free me. Prize this spear from my chest where it has been stuck fast for the last thousand years. Seize the spear. End this degradation. I beg you. 